Hey guys, I just want to share something with you that kind of bothered me. Uh, maybe nothing too big, but I think it's pretty stupid. But here, just listen to this clip. I was just talking to Wayne tonight on the way to church. I'm looking forward to having another baptism in the, in the future. And we'll be praying about that, getting that arranged. Because that is the very first step of obedience. And we just kind of go from there. And I know that uh, Brother Wayne would like to get that kind of done and yes, uh, taken yes, care yes. of. So that will be a, a very exciting day <laughs> yes. uh, for him and uh, possibly for Ashley as well. And so we'll just we'll see how that goes. Uh, see, what is this nonsense, these these this this church system where they make baptism into this event where people have to wait? We see in the Bible where people believed in the same day they were baptized. And, you know, we can look specifically at Acts chapter 8. When Philip preached Jesus unto this uh, eunuch, Acts 8.36, And as they went on their way, they came into a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water, what doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he that commanded the chariot, and he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. Okay, so, you know, he said, what hinders me from being baptized? Here is water. And he just said, and Philip said, you know, if you believe, uh, you know, in your heart, believe in Jesus, then you may. So what's this deal? I mean, you know, all these people have vehicles and stuff too. Like right now I have a problem with a vehicle. I mean, I, I don't even know if that's it really a good excuse. I could probably walk somewhere or figure something out if I met somebody who got saved. Okay, and, and, and they wanted to get baptized. You know, which they should. So, why does it have to be like this event where we have to like, you know, get, get the family to to come and everything. I know a lot of these church buildings, they want to they want to get more people into the building and stuff, so that's why uh on one hand, but I just think it's a bunch of nonsense. He's like, "Well, this guy, he's been he's been waiting for a while for it." Well, that's just not excusable. Just take him somewhere. You know, dunk him in the water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and get it done. You know, that's the biblical way. Not to make it some kind of a special event. Um, you know, that's planned out and invite all these people and all this stuff. You know, that's where people are like so blinded by tradition that, you know, they can't uh, see in the Bible. It was the same day. If somebody wants to get baptized, which we should tell people, you know, you should get baptized and then we should baptize them, I guess. But... Um, you know, especially if somebody's wanting to, what is stopping him then? So, I don't know, that just kind of gets on my nerves, so, I don't know, share your ideas about it, what do you think? Do you think that, you know, uh, I mean, if I, if, if I take somebody to get baptized, it's just me and the other person, we go out in the middle of nowhere, we don't record it or anything like that, I mean, I'm not against recording it or anything, I'm just saying, if it's just me and another person, just like in the Bible, just like Philip... And the eunuch, uh, then, you know, is that is that somehow less than planning it out and having a bunch of people baptized at the same time, you know, months after they've made a profession, and you know, trying to invite people and 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 do all this stuff, um, you know, is that is that less somehow? The way they did it in Acts? Is the tradition better than that? I don't know. Just something to think about. Because, you know, that's the way I was. I got baptized in the church buildings. And I said, you know, I wanted to get baptized. And they're kind of like, okay, well, you know, we'll schedule that. Or whatever. It's like, well, why not now? You know, uh... You know, and I just, I was, I went along with the church system and stuff because, you know, I didn't know any better at the moment. I'm just like, okay. But now, you know, after reading the Bible, you know, actually reading the Bible and seeing how it was done there, then I'm kind of like, okay, 
you know, it's not... Uh, it's... anyways. Uh, it just... <laughs> anyways, I'm just gonna end it there. God bless.